urban sprawl. It has transformed the city of Philadelphia and the area surrounding. It affects the population, it affects the development, it affects the economy, it affects the environment. We asked people on the streets of Philly what they thought urban sprawl was. Isn't that like the sister company for Urban Outfitters? I don't know. Yeah. How to spell it? I don't know. Can I Google it? <laughs> urban sprawl to me, I guess, is uh, gathering information about the city, something like sightseeing. <laughs> that means when the city sprawls out and it goes out to the countryside. Just the spread of um, buildings and civilization out past the center of the city. Urban sprawl is when a city gets too big and goes beyond its borders. Uh, <coughs> urban sprawl is when the city and they, from the core, begins to make its way outwards and the point where it starts to gain area that it didn't already have and create more city. Urban sprawl is the uh, expansion of the cities into the suburbs. Urban sprawl describes the expansion of human populations away from central urban areas into low density, monofunctional, and usually car dependent communities. In other words, urban sprawl is the development and growth of cities. Philly is part of the Northeast Megalopolis, which is the most heavily urbanized region of the United States running primarily northeast to southwest from the northern suburbs of Boston to the southern suburbs of Washington, D.C. It includes the major cities of Boston, New York City, Philadelphia, Baltimore, and Washington, D.C. Urban sprawl and population have a direct correlation. As the population grows, the city grows, and as the city grows, the population grows. According to the census collected from 2000-2010 in Philadelphia, the population increased by 5.26%. During this time, Philadelphia expanded rapidly and consistently in its development in order to accommodate the new population increase. These new developments also spurred even more people to move and reside in Philadelphia. We interviewed a married couple who has lived in Philadelphia for the past three years and asked them questions regarding the changes urban sprawl has created. Sprawl detected in Philadelphia is just a lot more crowded. Yeah, it's like more people, more lines, more traffic, um, less food at Trader Joe's, but there's more restaurants and more coffee shops and bars, and um, it's just growing. It's a great thing. It's helping to, you know, promote Philadelphia and its growth and. Um, I mean, I just think that living in a city and having the amenities that the city offers is amazing. And, you know, now it's out opening up that chance to a lot more people. Philadelphia's going to definitely grow into even more of a major city in America with uh, urban sprawl. Just because it is in such an awesome spot on the East Coast between New York and D.C. And there's just so much opportunity uh, to continue growing. There's so many warehouses and kind of like run down parts of the city where no one even lives that people are now going into just redoing. Naturally, with an increase in population, there will be a new demand for bigger and better urban developments within the area. For instance, fast food restaurants are more prevalent now in Philadelphia than ever before because of their convenience and low cost. Commercial establishments are being built along major roadways like Route 76 where they thrive. As a result of new stores and attractions being built in and around Philadelphia, new roads had to be built and roads that already existed had to expand and be maintained. Sprawl sometimes occurs when developers build homes at the outlying areas of the metropolis where the land costs tend to be lower according to the Property and Environment Research Centre. As a result, residential and commercial real estate costs become more affordable for the home buyer or entrepreneur, resulting in a generally lower cost of living. When residents relocate outside of a city's core, they take their tax dollars with them. Often, it's the city's poorest residents who are left behind. This creates economic disparity and stratification based upon location. Despite the positive effects that urban sprawl has had on Philadelphia, the environmental effects prove to all be negative. 
It has caused increased air pollution from cars constantly coming and going in and out of Philadelphia for both work and leisure related activities. More driving leads to more air pollution, which can contribute to the poor health and smog problems. It has caused water waste because of the pipe infrastructure, which has caused widespread systemic leaks all throughout Philadelphia. It continues to cause a loss of wild habitat as Philadelphia continues to sprawl out and into more suburban areas. Rapid development can negatively affect wildlife by tearing down, clearing or building over its habitat, potentially threatening survival. Urban sprawl in Philadelphia has created an epicenter of culture and business, providing a rich environment for the exchange of goods and services. Though there are drawbacks to the environment and the quality of life for some residents, urban sprawl seems unlikely to disappear from American life, and the problems it presents are the challenges of the future.